This is your season to start making more money and this is your very first free lesson on how to start your own e-commerce store and start making money. Okay, you know that I launched uh, my little subscription here on TikTok for those of you that need uh, someone to walk you through step by step on how to do everything. And uh, in these free lessons that I'm giving out, uh, we're gonna be going through everything that you really need to know. For those of you that are new to following me or new to see my videos, my name is Amy. Uh, I run a digital marketing agency. Uh, my first business was selling over $5 million in my own product based business. And now I launched uh, my own e commerce store and I made $10,000 in one week off of one product. And I continue to make money in that store because now I've got an email list. And I have also managed multi million dollar e commerce stores for uh, TV public figures and have run absolutely everything about those. Uh, e-commerce stores from the websites to the fulfillment centers you name it so we're gonna dive in today and we're gonna start with choosing a product I feel like this is probably the most difficult uh, part that people struggle with you don't want to go out there and just choose something you like and the reason for that is is you don't know if there's a market for it so one woman that I was working with to help her start her own business and she wanted to uh, you know, have a, a product that uh, would sell. And she first came to me and she said, I want to sell alcohol pins. Well, alcohol pins, you know, we did some research on it and there was no market for it. Like there was tons of, of market, there was just no market room, right? So tons of people are buying it, but they were, they're very committed to the brands that they're working with. And so it's really important that you go out there and ask yourself, is there room in the market for myself, can I be competitive in this area? Because uh, if you just go down uh, a path where you're going to sell something that there's either no interest in, no market for, uh, or nobody's going to buy, you're going to really struggle. So there's a couple of ways that you can figure out what is going to sell. Now, I like Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout pulls all of Amazon's data and it's going to tell you what is selling every single month and it's going to tell you uh, what months those products sell and it's going to tell you if there is any uh, room in the market for another person to be offering that now i'm not encouraging you to launch your product on amazon actually i would tell you to do the opposite it used to be that you could uh, create a product launch it on amazon and get tons of money and you know uh, grow that um that spend and and all of this it's not really possible anymore because too many people did it and it's really really crowded so i but i would suggest using the data to figure out what people are buying and i would also use the data to figure out what people are selling the products for so if you go out there and you sell something and amazon it's selling it cheaper then people are just going to go to amazon right so you really want to make sure that you listen to the data. And I wanna mention this too. The same woman that I was working with, with the alcohol pens, uh, we found a product that was going to really be good for her, right? That was really in her her loves and her kind of niche she wanted to be in. And I said, okay, so 50,000 people are buying this product every single month, there's absolutely, you know, uh, room for you in here because there's not that many people that are competing for the same type of product and she said but I'd go to Walmart and get that I'm like yeah, 50,000 people a month aren't going to Walmart right so we have to get out of our head and decide what we would do and start looking at the data and what the data tells us so I would highly recommend that you um, stick with Jungle Scout there are two top categories to actually that make the, the most money and are reliable. And that is going to be the baby category and the home category. So if you want to get some inspiration, I encourage you to go, go to Amazon, start looking at all the baby products and start looking at all the home products. Here's a disclaimer about the baby stuff. There are tons of regulations around baby products, a massive amount. And uh, it is so much red tape that you really have to understand and know what makes a safe product for babies. 
if you were to put something out there, didn't have the right disclaimer on it, didn't have the right protocol, whatever it may be, you could end up getting sued by a parent and really having a rough life, okay? So if you're gonna go down the baby category, make sure you know the regulations, you know all of them, you know everything from the FDA, and you cross all of your T's, okay? And uh, home is gonna be a lot easier. And when you focus on home, think about products that people use and then they need to reorder. Because if you just go out and you say, well, I'm going to sell lawnmowers. Well, how many times a year do people buy lawnmowers, right? So make sure that you're focusing on something that people use. Maybe it's candles. Maybe it's, you know, something like that. So um, you're going to go figure that out. Now, you can also go into other categories like beauty, like I do anti-aging. But you have to realize it's a very, very, very competitive um, niche to be in. And it is blood, sweat, and tears, and there's massive competition. So you have to ask yourself, do you have something to compete? I know that with my anti-aging serum, nobody comp can compete with it because nobody has been able to, right? And uh, I continue to sell it even to, to my friends and my neighbors and everything. There's a demand for it. And right now, that's where I've wanted to keep it. Like I open up the shop and I get, you know, um, I release the product and then I'll shut it down for now because I produce that. But again, do your research, go out there, see what people are buying and ask yourself why they are buying it. Right. And, uh, make sure that you can be competitive. How are you going to stand out? Now in the next video, I'll dive deeper into where you're going to get the products, right? Because there are multiple ways, but I want to mention a couple um, you can go to AliExpress and do drop shipping. Um, Alibaba, you can actually order. The, the difference between those two is Alibaba, you're going to go there, you're going to work with a manufacturer, you're going to upgrade a product, you're going to change that product, you're going to make that product yours, you're going to get a trademark, and then you're going to order a large quantity, okay? AliExpress, it's exact same products, but you are buying them one at a time, okay? And then there's also a great platform called Pietra, and we'll go into that one, I think I'm saying it right, where they'll do everything for you. They have all the supplies there, they give you all the samples, they do all the marketing, they do all the branding, they handle all the stuff. So if you are a brand new beginner, I'd highly recommend them. Um, and they're free to start, and then you, I think it's like a $25 a monthly subscription, right, once you want to start. But uh, before we go on down that path, I want to give you a multiple different options so that you have a starting point point because if you don't have any funds right now and you need to start from zero then there's going to be a couple of different options for you to get products and to sell certain products okay so again if you want to be part of my group where i'm going to walk you through this process step by step you can subscribe for 15 dollars a month right there